put up against anybody from your past that you you cut off or you oh sh the devil stepping in look wow the this is the card i was telling you about when it's in the upright when it's this way it means god stepped in it's in god's hands when it comes in the reverse it means the devil stepped in it's in the, the devil's collecting a soul and then we have they drop oh shit we have the full card this way okay we have the full card in the reverse they were very foolish in what they did they blocked their own path now the devil's stepping in the devil could be collecting your ex's soul or your collect your ex's you know body that's all because they already sold their soul um or it could be this motherly figure or this lady the empress in the reverse they blocked their own path by coming up against you they're trying to do some sort of destiny swap the truth has come out um i'm just going to say it already i already know what this is it's an inheritance that they try to do they try to steal they try to the swap destinies um they tried to you know what i mean the, what it was left to you i can feel already i already feel the energies i know who this is um it's the very similar energy that still keep popping up in, in here they they try to do a destiny swap with you somebody had left you a house and a foundation for you to um you know what i mean to keep you set up for after they passed away this witch bitch decided that it was she was being very foolish when she did this um thought she could be slick <clears throat> thought she could be slick she is definitely a witch bitch she did black magic um witchcraft and everything on you and the justice system he found out that she's been doing magic on him too and that she was planning to take him out they used to be close they're not no more this isn't now i know this energy now this this person isn't with her they're not together this is like a motherly figure okay this is your ex she did um she was all he found out she was doing you know witchcraft on him too and that she was planning to get rid of him too she actually got him locked up in the past she she's a reason she could even try to blame you or something else like that or they thought it was somebody else but he somehow found out the truth it was her that did it because it was part of her plan to get rid of him but she didn't think that when when it was him and a lot of other people too that she, were her cronies that were in this it was her way to get rid of everybody because she's been promising everybody the world of like your inheritance right because you, you were left a lot of money she's been promising everybody all this money but she's been picking people off one by one all right she's been unaliving people making it look like they overdosed when they didn't it was her unaliving these people all right she was they, she was drugging them with other things and making it look like they overdosed they did not overdose um she overdosed them now um other people somebody could have pew, pew, themselves it wasn't she did it or she had somebody do it okay she had somebody do it there's other people like she it made it look like they 51 50 when they took their own life when that wasn't the case it was her that was behind it um and it was her way of getting rid of these people either people that that she thought would like found out and was about to tell you um what was going on or it was just the people that she's been promising her cronies she thought she's a real slick mastermind she's a fucking idiot um she wasn't smart in what she did now she's been doing magic over this person he found out that she's the reason why he was put away it was like a big bust a big drug bust is what i'm getting and um, it could have been a meth bust or something i'm not sure what it was but it was a big drug bust she was that's why she didn't get arrested but everybody else did um is because she's the one that set it up and it was her way to get rid of them thinking like oh well they'll never find out it was me that did this no they found out he found out it was her and not only that that she's been playing him just like she played you now this is somebody that you looked at like a mother and whether it be an aunt a mother or like you know an in-law or um a step parent or somebody that and you're a divine being right you're an earth angel you don't do no wrong to nobody you you truly love these people even when they did you so dirty you truly still love these people right and now he's starting to realize like oh shit yeah if you're gonna do it to the collective who's an earth angel i did nothing wrong he would have shared this with you um obviously they're going to do it to you too somehow he found out that she's been doing him dirty too she was the reason why he got locked up and also because of her plan was to get him locked up and now they're put away they'll never find out that it was her but no that was the biggest mistake that was one of the biggest ma mistakes that she could have made because now they were looking at a lot of time right it was a big bust they were looking at a lot of time so they're like oh, this person was like oh, i'm not trying to be in there like what the f while they're out here you know she's out here like having all this money you know and no like i could be out there too so what can i do now i feel like this is your ex now your ex thought it was a good idea well i'll set everybody up i know what will get me out of prison because this is a big case whatever this person's doing 
let me go set everybody else up. I feel like he was either planning to frame you, set you up too, but then like I feel like he thought, well, maybe what if I set everybody else up, okay? And you know, this whole thing comes out. Now Collective gets all this money. I can look like the, the, the hero. And Collective already, you know, loves me. So we'll, we'll walk away with all this money. Then I'll get rid of Collective confirmation. I'll get rid of Collective and either frame Collective now, you know, and I'll get off all Collective's money or I'll just unalive Collective and I'll get off and, you know, Collective will leave all of her money to me or he will leave all of it, you know, put the roles where they fit. This is what his plan was, but you, you caught on to this. You caught on to this, you're like, there's something wrong here. I don't want nothing to do with you. You cut him off, now he's ticked. He's really pissed off. All right, so he's setting everybody else up though. I feel like whatever he's been doing to you, the devil's stepping in. He already sold his holds to the devil a while ago. I feel like when he was in prison, maybe beforehand, I'm not sure, but at least maybe, like, cause I feel like he went through like the dark night of the soul when he was in prison and like, he, he was, like, very, he was, he was scared, like, maybe this could have been the first time he was actually in jail or in prison, and he was, he was already scared in the county, let alone when he went up state, so he took a, he took this plea deal, but I feel like maybe, I don't know if he already did it beforehand, but if he didn't sell his soul beforehand when he was in prison, he definitely did, because he wanted the strength, the power to get out of prison, be able to make it, and all the illusions, all that bullshit, but, um, he blocked his own path, so did she, they fucked themselves over completely, the one million percent ace source truth has come out about her, and about him, and about everybody else, and what they were planning for you, they're also doing some sort of attack, they wanted, they didn't want you to find your purpose, they never thought that you would ever, you know, find who you were, they knew who you were, they always knew who you were, they knew who you were, they knew what you were, you know what I mean, that you were destined for greatness, they're, they know your birth chart, especially him, knows your birth chart better than you do, um, you might not even know your birth chart, he does, that's why he would show up at certain times, and like, come over and just start weird shit with you, and just like, maybe came over and just like, do story time with you, and just like, make bullshit up, like, with you, because I just had like, I just had a flashback from the, the, the last time I see my ex, he was at my house, right, so there's a reason why this is coming to me, because maybe this happened to you too, all right, my ex came to my house, right, and literally for, he was all, on, on drugs, he was on, on, you know, on meth, he would not shut up, dude, like, I was falling asleep, like, you know, and he was just saying all these lies, making up these, all, like, weird-ass stories, and he literally, like, I'm like, dude, can you just shut up, he was literally hurting my brain with all these lies he was saying, and, like, he just wouldn't stop, and, like, when I tried to say one word, he would cut me off and just continue saying, dude, and finally, I, I said something, I was like, dude, you're, you're hurting my brain, just shut up, and he was like, you need to tell me that, I'm like, dude, you're just, you've been here for over 24 or 72 hours, was just completely lying. And he was like, what do you mean? I'm what you call me. Got so defensive. I'm like, bro, everything you've been saying for the last 24, 48 hours, or 72 hours, however long it was, I don't even remember. Like, because it, it, it felt like a, a, an eternity because he would just not shut up and just saying all the biggest lies. It was ridiculous. But then there, he was saying some truths, but he was trying to, like, he was doing, like, the thing, like, where he was trying to say it was his ex-girlfriend, but he was talking about me and, like, what he was doing to me, but telling me what he's doing to his ex-girlfriend, all these evil things. But I was catching on to him, like, dude, just, I, I, this is the last time I see him, I told him, I was like, get out of my house, dude, like, I don't want you. And he wouldn't leave my house. He, and he told me, it's like, no, I have to stay here till seven. And I was like, dude, like, just go. Like, I can't stand you, just go. And he was like, no, I have to, please. I, I wouldn't kick you out of my house. I was like, yes, you did. Because he did, he kicked me out. And he told me, um, and we were, there was nothing even wrong with us. Like, and he told me that I had to leave, that I couldn't stay there no more. And he lives, like, where I was going, like, it was so far. It was like a, a 15 minute ride and he wouldn't even give me a ride and he had like fucking how many cars, motorcycles and everything else. And uh, like I had to walk back to this, this area. And I was like, yeah, you did. I was like, I, and, and you wouldn't even give me a ride. You, like what? And he was like, and he started laughing about it. He thought it was funny, but I still, me being a nice person that I was, still let him stay there until seven in the morning. Um, so like, and I thought that was weird. Like, why do you have to be here until this certain time? But, um, what do you call it? And he was just saying all these outlandish things, and it's because and this is why this is coming up. So maybe this happened to you, a similar situation like that. All right. Um, 
like think about a time like something like that could have happened like and it was just like outlandish shit it's because he he knew you were destined for something really great and it's funny because i had a job offer like that i had an uh, interview that day of a really good job a really good job but he purposely wanted me off balance like he was doing this on purpose and i was like dude i have to get ready and he was mad because i was in the bathroom getting ready and it was um I was, I, it was an amazing job too. I was so psyched about this job, and he was pissed off because like I just wanted to be away from him. So I was in, literally in the bathroom for like you know two hours, like just trying to get ready for work and trying to get you know, um, like for training for work. It was for training, um, but like and just trying to and it was for like you know um, as a lifeguard and I had to do you know um, for Six Flags and like where it's for training you have to do this whole training thing so he wanted me off balance he wanted me not to be able to perform the way that like i i could you know what i mean um and he knew i was destined for greatness he was in my birth that's why it had to be till seven you know what i mean but um that's why that's why they would come over and like some days they'll come over they'll be nice some days they'll come over and they'll just like start fights with you and over and over again and like you know like you could have possibly like tried to defer whenever they're you knew what they were doing you knew that they were maybe not exactly what they're doing but you knew they're trying to start a fight with you and you would just like agree with them so that it wouldn't because you didn't feel like arguing and they would still come up with another one and it would piss them off because they're trying to get you off balance this is what they were doing because they knew at certain times when you're destined for greatness or when something good's coming to you and they're trying to siphon all right also this is the ex like they could have every time they were there they always wanted to have you know be intimate with you it's because they were siphoning out your good they were sucking out all your they're doing sex magic on you and they were siphoning out all your good karma and they've been racking up all this bad karma and dumping their bad karma into you while siphoning all your good karma like this is the person like you could have had like a lot of sex with okay and it was because that's what they were doing they were doing sex magic um there wasn't a time that they came over where you did not get intimate. And that's why. But it's very important for you to keep this person away from you. I'm strongly getting this person could have picked up an STD. Because they do sex magic with not just you. They do it with other people too. But they like yours the best because you're, you're a divine feminine. You know, you're a divine masculine. You have that divine um, energy. So you have the best energy, you have the best sex, you have the best everything, you know what I mean? And you have the best karma, good karma, because you don't do people dirty. You are very divine. You do everything in the upright, and they're the complete opposite. They do everything in the reverse, in a, you know, in devilish energy. And this is why they could always seem like they get away with everything. It's because they can be so evil to people and get away with things because they literally dump it into other people they siphon out their good energy and they dump their their bad energy into into you or other people that's why you're working hard you whatever whatever you know you're a very hard worker they worked hard to stop you block you and try to get you off your like get you out of your purpose off your spot um knock you off your throne but it's not happening you're a very hard worker you continue working keep doing whatever you're doing whatever um you're working on is flourishing beautifully okay just keep showing up all right and don't question yourself don't doubt yourself do not ever question or doubt your your intuition either okay don't if you ever have that gut feeling um always go with it even if you're not sure what it is if you're you're getting that feeling for a reason it's god uh you know trying to warn you about something so always go with it and if somebody if you meet somebody and you just have a weird feeling stay away from that person don't and be careful with people touching you okay if somebody giving you a hug be very careful with that okay because they're doing some sort of like energy transfer be very mindful of that The choice has been made. The choice has been made with the two of swords in the reverse. You're getting some sort of payout or raise proposal. Um, and you're getting a solid love offer. Okay. Oh, shit. You are getting some sort of solid love offer. Now I'm going to put this in the upright. Because remember, this was on the fence. This came both ways. So you... All right. Now, this was on the fence. So this was your ex that I was talking about in the past. Okay. Now you have a king of cups or a queen of cups. But the rules already fit. That's coming in with a solid love offer to you. It's in there in the upright. Okay um because god stepped in it's in god's hands talking about god in heaven the one and only you know god jesus angels ancestors stones pass away um you have a love offer it's coming in also the one million percent ace of swords truth um has come out about the king of cups in the reverse how she 
how she paid your ex to come in. She paid your ex to come in to to poison you with a false cup of love, which was you know where you thought that your ex was your everything. You thought that like it's because he was placed there. You know, they they really did their homework. They found out like what your favorite color was, what your you know what your favorite number was, what your favorite this was, what your favorite that was. And these fucking scumbags went and thought they were super slick. They they read like if you have any criminal records or anything. They if you had there's something about an FBI file. Somebody has an FBI file or they do. I just see an FBI file like in my third eye. Maybe they have an FBI file now. Well, yeah, I'm sure, because they're being watched by the fucking the feds. But, um, 822 one o'clock. It's 822 right now. But, um... Hmm. Well, yeah, he's been in jail. Or they're about to. They're, maybe they have, there's an FBI file on them. But they, or they read you. Like, it, like, you're, they're, like, they were a fed. Maybe they are. Maybe somebody is. Maybe someone's a crooked fucking authority figure. Um, but, uh... The, the truth that's come out about how how she paid him he might even come in with truth and clarity to you about this because he knows you're, you already got this truth and clarity you already know this anyway and now the, the, the he's choosing to now cut her off he made his mind up and or she did like because he found out that she was trying to she was doing the same thing to him as she was doing to you and she, as she was doing to everybody okay but now you have uh, some sort of job coming in the choice has been made you're getting a job um a proposal maybe even like your divine counterpart for somebody this is not for everybody but this is for somebody somebody out there your ex i mean your your divine counterpart was lied to about you all right i feel like this person has a business okay they own a business of some sort or a brand or something they were planning on coming in offering you a job in the past um I don't know what this is, but they were trying to, they were, they were going to offer you this job or something in the past, but, um, they were lied to about you. They were told that you were like a piece of crap that you were, but it was all lies. They now knew the truth and clarity. They're making this choice up. They're going to come in. Um, this could even just be a boss. It doesn't even have to be a, a, um, a divine counterpart or something, but I feel like it's, it might be. For some users, it's like your divine counterpart. They own their business. They're going to do this. For somebody else, it's like, it's just a job offer it's coming in and they're coming in they didn't want to hire you before because of whatever lies were told to them about you they they made the choice up they're coming in with this job offer just like or whatever this is this promote whatever this is and it's, it's going to be full of love it's not like no shady business happening there's nothing it's nothing that like it's it's a solid love i mean solid ooh, solid love offer i meant to say a solid job offer solid love offer too okay so maybe that as well so for some of you that's it's going to be your divine counterpart who owns, owns a business and maybe i feel like i strongly feel like it's going to start off as like a job offer and it's going to turn into something more and you're going to end up probably together um And you're getting some sort of job offer, some sort of raise, promotion, something like that. Somebody was lying to the court saying that you sold drugs, you do this, you do that, you sell your body. It's not true. The, the authorities know 1 million percent whatever you're doing, you're doing it in the upright. You're doing it legally. Um, and it's there's because the, the, uh, there is an FBI file on you. There are, they are, um, because they had you falsely investigated. She did. He did too. Um. But the, the, that was a stupid move, too, because if all it did was bring, um, I left ears ringing, all it did was bring, um, you know, it brought the, the heat onto them because they're like, why are they lying about, the, like, why would they say this about, like, a divine being? Hey, this actually might even be the feds that's offering somebody a job. Dude, I don't know, or CIA or something. They might, this might, that's not for everybody, so don't get, you know. But that might be for somebody because after, you know, doing this investigation, they've seen how loving, nurturing, caring of a person you are that, no, you do everything in the upright. You are one, you know, you do everything legally, you do everything in the upright, and they see what these people have been doing to you. And they can't believe that what you've been through, what you've been through and how you're able to, they love the fact that you're able to just rebuild yourself bigger and better every single time. You could be from America because I do have the Yellow Wolf's, um, what do you on where it's like the American flag? So you could be from the U.S. You don't have to be, but you could be. America could definitely be um, significant.
Or maybe it's the military. I don't know. Shit. Somebody could be in the military thinking about the American flag too. It could be the military. Or you could be in the military. And thank you for your services to, you know, um, any, any and everybody who's ever served in the United States military and for the, you know, United States, uh, you know, law enforcement too. Thank you for your service. Of course, the good ones, not the crooked ones. Crooked ones will fall. Especially this year. Damn. All right, this one came out first. Yeah, you're not in grief, pants, or agony. Um, they wanted, they were trying to put you in grief, pants, or agony. They don't want to fight no more. I forget which one came next. Either this one or this one. This one's on the fence. Yeah, they wanted you in... <laughs> They wanted you to have some sort of confirmation, excuse me. Um, that was like a double confirmation. I accidentally freaking hiccuped up and like had a spiritual work at the same time. So they wanted you in some sort of grief, pain, sorrow, agony. Um, you're not. And they, they don't want to fight with you no more because they lost. They, they realized that they lost their whole foundation, everything. They blocked their own purpose um, by coming up against you. You know, you're not allowing any of their childish antics. Your ex doesn't want to play with you no more, too, because they realize they blocked her on purpose, and maybe they're about to pass away. They know the devil's coming in to collect that, so maybe they want to actually, before they pass away, because they know they sold their soul, they know the devil's coming in to collect that soul or that body, that vessel. So they made the choice up to come forward. Maybe the, maybe they're passing away. They know they are, and they're leaving you for somebody out there. Your ex is actually leaving you in their will. It's their way of trying to make it right before they die. Someone's name could be Will. Maybe they made a deal with God so the devil doesn't come to collect their vessel, um, their soul, I mean, that they leave you in their will. Someone's name could be Will, William, Willie, Billy, Bill, Willard. Wally could be someone's name. They made the choice up to, or maybe they just made the choice to come forward with a 1 million percent ace or truth and clarity. Um... I don't know, but they're not in grief, pants, or agony. You're not, or you're not in grief, pants, or agony. Your divine counterpart is no more. They want to, they don't want to, well, your ex doesn't want to fight with you no more because they've realized they blocked their own purpose. Their whole foundation has fallen apart. They realized what they did was completely wrong. They realized that this bitch lied to them and was playing them just like they played you. Well, duh, obviously. Well, if they're going to, she's going to do it to a divine being that did nothing but love her and, you know what I mean, thought of her whenever this inheritance was like being left to them and was like, she was the first person that they thought of. Like, okay. Of course and she was willing to like to share it with her of course she's going to do it to, to you too are you dumb or retarded come on get your life together bro but anyway so they don't want to fight with you anymore okay you're not allowing any of their conflicts like that they're trying to send your way in your purpose because they are they've been attacking your purpose they've been like hiding behind fake if you have like a youtube account or a, a channel or if you have like just social media and you're posting like good positive things they're over here just posting pictures of yourself they've been hiding behind fake accounts leaving stupid ass nasty comments all right but if this is something that you're doing in your purpose like you're doing something that's uplifting people like giving them like positive quotes and stuff like that or like just uplifting people you're you're in your purpose doing this and and they're over here they're attacking god's work not yours so like because you're doing God's work you see what I'm saying so they blocked their own purpose by doing this and they're, they're, they're losing their whole foundation so they don't want to do this no more they're realizing that they're fucking very stupid by doing this um they don't want to fight with you no more and whatever conflicts they've been sending your way especially in your purpose it, you haven't been letting it affect you um you know your days of losing out on the opportunity the decision has been made your your days of losing on opportunities are, are null and void it's not happening anymore okay then also your divine counterparts coming in with this out love offer they don't want to lose out they realize that you are their gift from god and they are your gift from god you know that you are each other's gifts they don't want to lose out in this okay they're not in their head about this no more they're, they're not fighting with themselves anymore about this they know who you are and they're coming in with the solid love offer okay Guys, can we get those likes up, please, and thank you? Your ships are coming in. Oh, and the, the, the Six of Cups. So there's somebody that's in your path. I'm surely picking up on a child figure. Now, they might not be a child anymore. They could be an adult, a young adult, possibly. Or somebody that you knew since you were a child. All right, maybe they just... But there's no bad energy here. This is somebody that, like, you just... 
you didn't they're not a karmic it's somebody it's either a child or somebody you knew since you were a child possibly they used just went separate ways okay or whatever it was you didn't have no bad blood with them they're coming back in maybe you lost contact with them or or maybe they were over maybe they went you know maybe they're in the military all right and, or they moved away they're coming back or like an, if it's your child maybe like um uh another parent or a grandparent or aunt uncle brother somebody whatever took your child and they filled their heads with lies about you um and brainwashed them no the, the illusion is being cleared they're coming back in okay they're coming back in holy spirit divine spirit angels ancestors loved ones have passed away what does the collective need to know what do they need to be aware of at this time please and thank you Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles on the fence. This is telling me you're on your way there, okay? It's already done in a 3D. The decision has been made. Whatever this job offer is, it's putting you into this Queen of Pentacles energy. It's um, it's on the fence. It's coming in there. And also, there's a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse that the 1 million percent um, truth and clarity has come out. And I'm strongly getting it. It's like her, how her foundation is, um, how they got their false ass foundation, how cutthroat they were, and everything else. Now, you, my darling, you're getting this job offer or you already got it. Maybe it's whatever you're doing in your purpose. You're working hard. You know, it's it's working out perfectly for you. You're getting some sort of raise or promotion that's putting you into this Queen of Pentacles energy. It's on its way there. It's in transit. Like maybe you didn't get the check yet or like you just got the job or whatever the situation is. It's already done it in the 5D. Now it's trickling down into the 3D. Now you got these fucking weird ass losers that can't sleep at night. Maybe their ex could have had a fucking, they get, they're worried about their boohoo crying. Um about how how childish they were to you how this woman played him or her you know her against you they know that the devil's coming to collect they know they know that they, they're they scared to death they know that like any day now they're going to be passing away um they know this all right they know it's a painful permanent ending they know that they're caught they know they're caught They were trying to get you to sacrifice. They could have said that your ex could have put you up for a sacrifice. And that's exactly what this is. Your ex put you up for a sacrifice. All right. He sold his, he or she sold his soul to the devil. All right. There, the deal with the devil was, um, with the, uh, the deal with the devil was to bring the devil your soul. He thought it was a great idea. He thought it was the easy target. You know what I mean? He, he thought you were an easy target. He's like, this is being, are you kidding me? That would be so easy. Of course, um, they were very unapologetic about this. They did not care. They did not care to use you for a sacrifice at all. Not one little bit. They thought this was the easiest thing they could have possibly done. All right. Well, now they're freaking out because they know the devil's here to collect. It's your soul or theirs. Well, guess what? It's not your soul, sweetheart. It's never going to be your soul. You're too divine. Okay. This person could have even told you. Cause I just like I just now again had a flashback from when that same night my i was telling you about with my ex um how he just came over and he kept like talking and wanted to shut the fuck up about a whole bunch of lies that same night he told me like how the devil wanted my soul the devil gets whatever he wants and he he's like and he told me he's like and he really wants you and he gets everything he wants no the fuck he doesn't keep that same energy because remember when he collects your soul because bitch he ain't getting mine you know that for a fact and it's a painful permanent ending to this bitch to him to them to, to all of them they're caught and and also somebody's passing away i'm telling you right now the devil's here to collect and i feel like it's your ex it's either your ex or it's her it's a painful permanent ending it's either that one or that one or maybe both and it's a painful permanent ending to their foundation the decision has been made she might now like know that you know the devil should have come and collect her too or that she's caught so maybe she's making a decision all right to not fight with you no more to release what was actually yours because she knows she's caught and she knows it's a painful permanent ending she has to there's not even a decision that has to be made from her it's already been made by god and by the authorities maybe she knows she's about to pass away because i'm seeing her and i don't know why i'm just getting a vision of whoever this is i'm seeing it as the oompa loompa um, like really swollen up and like orangey so she could have some sort of like liver problems or kidney problems or something and that makes her swell up um in like an orangey color and like an orangey yellow color so there could be something wrong with their liver or her liver 
or kidneys or something is from drugs and it's because of the backfires from the magic that she's been doing um and it's her karma but your ex that's the deal that de your ex made with the devil was to bring your 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 soul and that's never going to happen absolutely not absolutely not it's so it's their soul it's either yours or theirs and it's not yours sweetheart and it's never going to be yours and they know the devil's coming to collect now they're boohoo crying at night because they know the deal that they made they know they have they there is no forward movement with them they're going and it's a painful permanent ending to your ex and also this feminine and anybody else that worked with them and it's coming in quick eight of wands you're gonna get some, some sort of quick communication somebody could have passed away and it's gonna be a painful permanent ending to them however they go out it's gonna be something painful this woman might have even took her own life somebody could have took their own life or or your ex it might have happened and you might be getting quick communication about this ten of cups you're getting some sort of quick communication, okay, about some sort of family. I feel like this is that child, that child that, or that person. I feel like it's that child telling you about, for those of you who lost contact with a child, you're getting some sort of quick communication, okay? You're going to be, you're going to be um, hearing from them soon. And your family sees you as a very loving, nurturing, caring person. You're about to have a happy home, happy family. Beautiful. I love that. I absolutely love that. And like, look, like, and I feel like with Eight of Wands, like in the reverse, like I feel like this is, you're getting quick communication about this and it's like a backfire too from whatever they're trying to do, some sort of like, they're, they tried to, you know, um, they sent you whatever they sent you, it was blocked, okay? Whatever death magic or whatever that this witch bitch tried to, to whip up or your ex tried to whip up to send to you, absolutely not. It was been blocked. It was sent right back on to these fucking losers. But you're going to get some sort of quick communication about this. Somebody passed away or they're about to be. Oh shit! Y'all seen this? Oh damn! Okay, 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 okay. You moved away, or you're about to be moving away. She's trying to run. If she didn't pass away, I feel like she's trying to run. She's trying to pay somebody off. Um, you're about to be moving away. The one hundred percent answer is truth has come out about why you moved away from these people and how you're coming out of like rough waters decisions has been made this bitch has to move out of your house um if they have your house they they you know they stole your house from you or whatever they have to move away the truth and also if she tried to run from the police or whatever or him or whoever if anybody tried to run from the police or whatever um the truth has come out about this too and like the truth has come out about how she was paying people to try to get you to to like move away from them and like to to keep you far and like far away some about you went on like vacation or something something was supposed to be done to you the truth has come out about this you could have had a car accident or like something could have happened when you were on your way on um to your it was supposed to be a vacation you thought but no it was a planned uh, and something happened whether it be a car accident or whatever this was um the truth has come out about how she paid for this and it was supposed to be a hit on you it was supposed to take your life okay because i just had a vision or um a flashback from when i went to florida right and it was before my my my, my father passed away before all this is their way because they knew that they would never be able to do what they did to my dad if i was here she knew that she knew there was no way that would happen.